went off to college very early school. I, I have a great memory, I'll say that, but I'm not, I wasn't a, a great student. Uh, about 19, I dropped out. My parents were very upset and purchased my first home, started a real estate company. I eventually went back to school. So it's been a journey from business owner to writing books on down the line. I'm 31 years old now, so to see how life has come full circle. You know, and at 24, I went down to $11.37 from having a great substantial amount of money and had to figure out who was I. And I learned one thing, I was never successful, I just had money. And, and, and there's a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. And now I've tailor-made it to realize, you know, I, I didn't have any character, I didn't know who I was. It was just so many things happened at an early age. So now that I get a chance to function from my purpose, that's success for me. Okay. Uh, how can folks uh, find you on the internet? They can find me at Marcus Y. Rozier. And got to put that Y in there, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And you spell Rozier? R-O-S-I-E-R. -E okay. And I'm the same thing on all social media outlets. So whether you're the FBI or a jealous girlfriend, Marcus Y. Rozier. <laughs> <laughs> Either one's bad news, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Marcus Y. Rozier. He's an author, a transformational speaker, a life coach, an inspirational speaker, and our guest this morning, he's going to be speaking at Walsh University. What building in, on the campus? Bears. At the Barrick Center. Oh, okay. Where we'll be at. That's a cool place. Absolutely. Yeah, I like I like Walsh University. Me too. It's been a phenomenal time. Yeah, tell the folks up there I said hi. Absolutely. Thank, thanks you, for, for, thank you for having me too. Well, thanks for being a guest. Uh, you beat me to it, but <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Okay. Uh, news is coming up next, and on the other side of the news, we're going to continue our discussions about black history. We've got Reverend Herman Wait. Skip Mason Jr. Uh, he was very instrumental in the MLK Monument in Washington, D.C. We'll be right back.